Well, Demi, a long old route back to, to full fitness. And was it from the moment that you picked up the injury, did you know it was a bad one? Yeah, I think it's one of them, like, you realise it was quite a big one because my ankle just went so big. But, you know, when you're playing games, the, the adrenaline is keeping you going. And uh, when you went back in a half time, I looked at it. it. It felt okay at the time, but probably it wasn't okay. So, uh, but it's just one of them, like, I feel like sometimes as a player, you've got too much pride and uh, you don't want to come off. And uh, But, yeah, it was, a, it was a quite big one. Yeah, so a case of once the game was over it settled down and you had a proper look at it, your heart sinks a bit because you know at that stage that, yeah, this this is bad. Yeah, as soon as the game finished and obviously we went back in the change rooms and to be fair, I even like, felt it during the game as well. So, But after the game, definitely when you obviously take your boots out and your socks out, you can see the size of my ankle was, uh, was pretty big and uh, the physio straight away put me into the uh, like a walking boot so just to protect it just in case of further damages and... Uh, it was just about how bad was it because I knew it was going to be out for, for a couple of weeks at least. So I just uh, obviously we needed the scans to see exactly what happened uh, in my ankle. Did you think it was a bit of a, a naughty challenge at the time or was it just a case of a striker doing what a, a striker needs to do? No, I, I completely understand his point because he thought he, he had enough time to probably try and you know, catch me out. but. It was just, in my opinion, was unnecessary challenge from him because I think he was nowhere near the ball and kind of my leg got caught between two of his legs or something like that. So the funny thing is that he was actually saying to me he hasn't touched me. And after the game, I showed him my ankle and he actually apologised. So, uh, but listen, his football is contact sport. It's like no hard feelings and, uh, you know, things happen. Well, that's the nature of being a goalie, isn't it? You're always sticking parts of your body where the, the boots are flying around. Oh, I'll do that every day. I'll stick my head if I have to save the ball. Do you know what I mean? I'll put my head on the line if I have to. So it's just, I'll never back down. You know, if it was a 50 50, I always go for it. And, you know, whatever happens. Like I said, that is a football, it's contact sport. And uh, sometimes you get hurt, sometimes you don't. But it just, it is what it is. Now, I guess you won't have been happy with the first goal on Saturday. But overall, how does it feel to be? to be back in the side, to be back playing. No, it's brilliant. You know, that is the best thing. Uh, it's the best thing playing games. You know, it's the, the thing that makes you happy, the things that keeps you going. You know, because people don't see, you know, when you don't play, when you're just by yourself at the gym, looking the lads from the window, that like, training on the training ground. So it's a, it's a really difficult one. But listen, when you get injured, you're, I'm always trying to look what I can do better, you know, what, what I can improve. So obviously that was a time for me to get stronger in the gym, to uh, do... Uh, improve my weightlifting and everything like that. So in every negative, there's a positive. So I'm always uh, trying to stay positive, you know, help the lads as much as I can. I'll try to go to every game and just be present, just be voice in the change room for the boys. So yeah, and in the end, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm back playing because like I said, this is the thing that makes me the most happy. Yeah, Will did a really good job though, didn't he, during your, your absence? And I guess you played a part in that from what you're saying in, in helping him along. Yeah, of course. I think the, the goalkeeper union is really strong because when I play, he's really happy for me and he supports me. And obviously when he plays, I'm doing exactly the same for him. And I think that what makes us such a special group in the goalkeepers because everybody obviously wants to play, of course, but then whoever plays, the other two support each other. So I think it's a very help, healthy environment and that's only going to help the team because, you know, and I did think he's, he's done really well, you know, but... Again, like I said, everybody wants to play. And as soon as I came back fit, uh, I wanted to make sure in my training performances, show to the manager that I'm ready to be back on the side. Yeah, and a really obvious point, but your level of experience when a team is stuck in a bit of a rut or in a, a difficult moment, when you've got your kind of personality and you've played that many games, it makes life a little bit easier, doesn't it, for you to come in and you can bring all of that to bear. Yeah, of course. I would like to think that you know, I've played enough games now and I bring that voice in a change room and... And also winning mentality, you know, it's, everybody has it here, but I feel like I'm bringing nine to the table as well. You know, I'm trying to get the lads going just with my voice, not, not even not so much with your actions, but just like being there as a presence, just speak to the lads and encourage them, just give them a simple bit of information. And when, you know, when you say good things to people, they'll just buy into it and just play better, perform better. So I feel like I bring quite a lot of that. But in the end, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just really good to be back. Yeah, and big changes to the defence since you're on the sidelines with the January window, Michael Morrison coming in, Ryan Bennett as well. That level of experience and knowledge makes a, makes a big impact. Oh, fantastic. You know, two fantastic centre-backs playing at the highest level. 
And it's really good to have them in a team, of course, because they bring that composure, they bring that experience. And you can tell from the games, like if every little small decision they make is the right thing to do. For example, just a simple ball over the top, they just head it back to you, they won't head it, you know, out of play or something like that. You just they bring that presence and everybody feels safer with them and I feel I feel like they've definitely improved the team. Cool, that's great for me. Thanks, Demi. Thank you. Hi, Demi, just on the season so far, how frustrating a season has this been for, for everyone at the club, do you think? Yeah, obviously, we it's not been the what we expected, for sure. But listen, I think uh, this is this is part of football. There's challenging periods in every football club and at the moment we are in a challenging period. But I'm sure with everything we've got in the change room, and I can see the lads every single day, how much they dedicate themselves into training, into football, Football games, that's going to turn eventually because I know how hard us players and obviously coaching staff work to give us the right information for the game, to prepare us for the game, to know exactly what's coming. And I know that for a fact that everybody's given 100% on the pitch. There's no one player that walks off that pitch not given 100%. So I think that's, that's the bare minimum that everybody needs to do and everything else will take care of itself. Yeah, a lot of um, the last couple of seasons that were successful were kind of built off that team spirit that you had built. Do you feel like that is very much still here this season, even though the results aren't necessarily showing it? No doubt. Yeah, of course it is. Because when you look at it, we're the same team, just probably missing one or two from last season. So everybody here likes to come to work every day with a smile on his face. I know, obviously, like you said, it's difficult times. Yeah, it is. But... We've had amazing two years. You know, the last two years has probably been one of the best two years I've had in football. And then it's coming a challenging people. But that's the nature of the game, you know. It can't be always sunshine and you know, so everybody comes here, like I said, and wants to do better and that's the main thing because as soon as you start coming in and you don't want to improve, everything is gonna go bad. But that's not the case here, no chance. So the manager makes sure everybody's on it and I, I'm telling you, all the lads are, want to do better. What would you put the season down to? Why do you think it hasn't gone as well as, as the previous two? Uh, it's just, like I said to you, it, it, it's just football. It's just things that are happen. I, I can't really tell you a reason. Of course, we need to stop conceding goals. We need to score more goals. It's just so many things needs to be done better in every area of the pitch. You know, obviously it starts from the back because clean sheets gives you foundations to win games. But... Also, it's the goals that's going to win you the three points eventually. So we need to do better in the both boxes. We know that. We're working hard every day. And uh, I'm sure with all the information we're getting from the coaches and everybody involved in, in, in the football club, we're going to do everything in our powers to turn this around. And just on Cheltenham tomorrow night, what do you make of that game and how important is it? I think every game is important. doesn't matter if you're playing Sheffield Wednesday away or Cheltenham at home. It, 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 we are going with the mentality of every game to win. It's going to be obviously a really difficult game. Uh, they're doing well. Um, but again, when we're playing at the Abbey, when we have the fans behind us, we can beat any team. When we showed against Ipswich, how good. We, I could we should have won the game, really, because I thought we played really, really well that game. And uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I think it's going to be a challenging game. And... Uh, we are going to win like every game.